So let me get this straight. An evangelical Christian, as a legislator, is talking about protecting women and children from heinous acts of uh, violating their privacy or their safety in public bathrooms. In the context of a debate, perhaps in the Tennessee legislature, he says something like, uh, when men abuse their power to go into a women's bathroom, that's evil. And by opposing the co-ed bathroom laws, we are going to crush evil. And, and what that was twisted to say is that he thinks all transgender people are evil, or as I would say, honestly, if I were preaching from my pulpit as this program is my pulpit, they're demon possessed and they are evil, but he didn't go that far. He didn't say that. What he and said also, was yeah. in the context of the policy debate of transgender co-ed bathrooms, his job is to protect women's safety and crush evil, but, but they turned that into something more than what he said. Well, actually you said it harder than he said, uh, uh, chaps, because he was talking also about ISIS and he was talking generally about crushing evil. He didn't say, uh, I, I'm going to crush the evil of men and women's bathrooms. He just, that was part of a larger discussion, including ISIS. And what did the left do? The left turned it into, yes, he wants to crush evil transgenders, comparing them to ISIS. And so they, they intentionally distort, took out of context his words, which were said in a radio interview, uh, not on, even on the floor of the Tennessee state legislature. Well, there you go. So again, this was his private speech during a radio interview and not during any conduct that he would have had on the floor of the legislature. That sounds exactly like what they did to me when I was a state representative on the floor of the Colorado state legislature. I'm calling them the, L it, the LGBTQ hate machine because that's what it is. It's hateful. When you're saying somebody's hateful, because they disagree with you based on their religion and their morality, that in and of itself is hateful. So they hate us, they hate Jesus, or they hate our religious freedom or our religious expression, but also they hate any resistance they have to their political agenda. And they are passing bad laws in state legislature after state legislature, especially in California and Massachusetts, but now uh, Any time that a Christian legislator like Mark Green or like myself tries to introduce religious freedom legislation, they go after our private comments of what we say in our TV interviews or what I say on this TV show as if I said it in my capacity as a legislator. Uh, and they're unable to separate church and state, whereas Christians actually, I think, are uh, try to be professional in what, what I say in church versus what I say as a legislator.